Greetings, fellow colleagues. Today we're going to dive into the fascinating world of furosemide, a medication that is sometimes used in cases of hyperkalemia. Although it isn't directly employed to treat high levels of potassium in the blood, it can indirectly assist in managing this condition by aiding the kidneys in excreting more potassium. Let's delve a bit deeper into the mechanism of action. Furosemide, a loop diuretic, cleverly disrupts the reabsorption process of sodium and chloride in various nooks and crannies of our kidneys. This includes the ascending loop of Henle and the proximal and distal renal tubules. But it doesn't stop there. The drug also encourages the body to bid farewell to excess water and other electrolytes, including potassium. So how do we administer furosemide, specifically in cases of hyperkalemia? The dose is 40 to 80 milligrams given intravenously. But keep in mind, for the purposes of treating hyperkalemia, furosemide is more like a 100-meter dash runner who continues for a few extra laps. Pharmacologically, it jumps into action within 15 to 30 minutes, reaching its peak in about an hour. It has a half-life of two hours, and its effects generally wrap up around six hours. But as with any medication, furosemide may bring along some potential side effects. These can encompass an increased urge to urinate, nausea, vomiting, and abdominal cramps. And there we have it, furosemide, a compact medication wielding a significant impact on managing fluid and electrolyte imbalances, such as hyperkalemia.